Hi, Frank. Hi. Um, somebody told me that uh, I should ask you what your family thinks of your comics. Oh, I know you should. Who told no? <laughs> Who told you to ask that? An anonymous Someone? Yeah. And I was at the Emerald City in Seattle a few weeks ago, and somebody asked, you know, like, what my family think of, like, my comics, and I say none of them, none of them have read any of my comics. <laughs> and then, you know, like, after thinking about it, like, uh, my eldest son, uh, in fact, both my sons have they read a couple of the things that I've done and liked them. Um, and my mother read one comic that I drew, and it was the um, it was the Scottish Connection, which was a Batman one shot that Alan Grant wrote. And uh, I said to her, "What did you think of it?" Because it was, like, it was the first like, really big kind of mainstream thing that I'd done. And I was really proud of it. And she said, well, "Your drawings are very good, but the script was rubbish." <laughs> Now, just so you know, in Seattle, when uh, when somebody asked that question, and Frank said, "Well, actually, none of my family have ever read my comics," the uh, the audience it, it just got a swell of a aww. <laughs> I didn't hear anything from any. Of them. Yeah, they would never have been the same. So, yeah, these guys are a tougher crowd than the softies in Seattle. Thank you. Hi there, Frank. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, just taking a look at this uh, uh, brilliant cover, and it says that you know you were able, you were able to go through and design it. And I'm just wondering and curious because um, it's you know so rich and it has depth. It's very complex, all in one character, you know. And I just I was just curious about uh, how long did it actually take to design? Um, it actually it it took much longer than the most covers that I've worked on because I had quite a long lead-in time to do it. And because there was no pressure to get it out the door quickly, um, I, I carry a sketchbook with me pretty much everywhere I go, and I, I travel to my studio, you know, like I, on a bus, just like on a train. So I'm always sitting, I'm always sitting working. It, often it's just like it's just doodling, but uh, sometimes I'll sit with a script and I'll do thumbnails, or if I've got covers to do, I'll sit and work out like, little thumbnail compositions for the covers. And with that particular one, I had an idea that was along those lines, and because there was no real rush for it, and I was enjoying just doing variations of the same thing, I ended up drawing like dozens or scores of different thumbnails over a period of several weeks. It's usually, usually on the bus. Um, and then on eventually, the yeah, on the bus. Yeah, I mean, just scrappy drawings and that. Drawings covers on the bus. No, no, not, not the cover, just the, just the thumbnails. But yeah, so I spent, I spent longer working that one out than, than was actually necessary, just because I was having fun with it, but... Um, right, yeah, cool, thanks a lot. Okay, come on. If you had to break into comics again, and you had zero name to your name, uh, how would you do it? Um, I would almost certainly um, start doing like a web comic. I would probably want to print it as well as some sort of hard copy. But I, when I started out, like I kind of get into small press comics almost by accident. Um, and once I started, once I started like drawing my own stuff, I, I really, I really started like falling in love with the the whole sequential process, the idea of actually making comic books. Um, but it wasn't actually a, a childhood dream or anything, you know. I, I, the childhood dream was that I would have a job that just involved drawing. But it wasn't specific with comics, it could have been anything. Um, and, um, but looking back on it, I mean, the way most people get into comics back then was just by doing like fanzines and like small press stuff, self-published stuff. And now it seems to be, you know, like, you know, like, the web comic is like the, the current equivalent of that. And you have so much more control. You know, it, it costs you nothing extra to make it in colour. There's no initial outlay of expense to actually print it up. 
and it's easier to, to find an audience as well. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's still just as difficult to actually make money out of it uh, when you're starting out, but um, in a lot of ways it's actually kind of the best time to be... I mean, it's not the best time to be getting into mainstream comics because it's always difficult to it's always difficult to come in as a new guy when there's editors who've got a lot of names on their books and not quite enough work to get everybody that have, that's worked for them before like something to do. So it's very difficult to get a start, but it's kind of it's easier to get started on your own than it used to be. Where the comics that you currently follow? Yeah, I'm following uh, Dan Goldman's stuff. Um, He's one of the, he was one of the Activate guys, you know, Dean Haspiel and Dan Goldman and that much. Um, and I, I dip in and out of a, I can't remember the group's name, you know, they, 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 it's the Canadian guys like Cameron Stewart and Carol Kershaw and Noah Perez. They, they're doing some good stuff. Uh, I, I, people recommend things and I dip in and out of several uh, web products, yeah. Thank you. Well, Hello. Okay, we got we got uh, maybe three or four minutes left, so let's uh, let's keep the rapid fire questions. No problem. Um, can you bang on your electric suit work? Does that mean electric and coming on the time soon? Electric suit? Your electric suit? Um, maybe. Um, do you know it's it's kind of embarrassing because it's it's, it's mostly really really lame. You know, I mean it's it's some some of the drawings are okay, some of them are kind of ropey. Um, most of the writing is pointless. You know, it really is. That's false modesty aside. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a verb. That's a kind of verb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Writing is hopeless. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe I, I have been, I, I've been toying with the idea of it's all black and white anyway, so I, I might do like a really like cheap, low price version of it, you know, the mail order or something. I don't know. Thank you.